Hello, I'm Ian Bryan. I'm delighted to be joined by two guests from the BBC today to talk about apprenticeships and how they help the business grow and develop right across Northern Ireland. My guests today are Ruth Sloan, who's Infosec Manager, and Chris Brackett. Welcome both. Thank you. Ruth, maybe you could tell us a little bit about your job and uh, how the apprenticeship scheme has benefited you. Sure, no problem. Um, so as manager for the area, uh, my responsibility is to uh, interview and hire the apprentices coming into the BBC itself, uh, to liaise with Belfast Met to make sure that the education that the, 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 the employees are getting are meeting their needs, but also that we're providing the correct training for them on the job to, to meet the needs of the Belfast Met as well. So basically, uh, I'm there to, to make sure that everything's flowing smoothly from that uh, interaction between all three people. Well, that's brilliant. And communication is the key to the success of Absolutely. this uh, project. Absolutely. Well, Chris, turning to you, this is not your first rodeo because you were in the organisation for, I think, 25 years before you went on along this route. Tell us what prompted you to make that change and what your journey has been like. Well, the BBC's progressing. And I've worked my way through various different departments and trying new things, learning new things. Um, and the BBC is very much about digital first and cyber security and networking is one of those things that is really important in today's society, never mind um, within the BBC. So learning the skills of cyber security and networking you know, is very much required in today's business environment and certainly within the BBC it's essential. Essential indeed. And Chris, I want to talk about support. I'd like you to ask you two questions if I may. Tell us about the support you get from Belfast Met and then also from your employer as well. I think people watching this would consider that to be very important. Um, as a staff apprenticeship, I'm slightly different to the usual apprentices. So Ruth works very hard to look after um, the regular apprentices, but also look after me and make sure I'm learning the things that will help me within my college course. Um, the college are fantastic, um, the tutors are phenomenal in terms of how they're able to um, explain the situations for those people who haven't come across um, certain concepts before or who have, like myself, have been out of the education system for quite a long time. Um, it's been a long time since I've had to write an exam and it, that was quite a difficult task yeah. for someone who hasn't just sat something like that in 25 years but you know having that extra support not just in um, the learning but also in how to learn the study yes. techniques and techniques of involved in studying so improving those well that's great well, it's great that you have that support and I suppose we're going to move from support Chris that you're talking about Ruth to benefits so as a manager could you tell us about some of the benefits which those working for you uh, absolutely have? yeah um, as Chris has alluded to we, we not only take in apprentices who are you know, in their first uh, education round in their GCSEs, or just finished GCSEs, etc. Uh, we also do staff apprenticeships. So what we're looking for in people is not only brand new apprentices coming in, cutting their teeth, as you say, mm -hmm. you know, learning what it is to be an engineer or to be a, a technologist within the BBC um, and learning that cybersecurity background, but we also help to reskill people. So Chris, um, one of the reasons that Chris is doing what he's doing is he, he, he is an engineer, he's been working in operations, but as he said, you know, the, the new skills that are required now as an engineer, to, to be able to reskill in the Belfast Met to learn those skills that will bring us forward into the this digital first stage of the BBC is going into um, is, is so useful, so helpful, and the fact that we can do it in Belfast is fantastic. Splendid. So it's train, retrain, retrain again. That's what an engineer does. <laughs> Chris, maybe you could pick that point up from Ruth and tell us about your next step. What do you think is the next training uh, milestone for you? There's so many different pathways within the BBC, which is sometimes good and sometimes a bit of a hindrance. Um, so because I'm learning cybersecurity with networking, um, I can merge in towards a network engineer style role, or I can progress in the standard cybersecurity route that the regular apprentices will take. And having those different pathways available to me um, gives me a lot of different options. So I think I'll make that decision once, depending on the employment environment, the BBC is a constantly changing place um, with restructures and movement, um, regardless of whether I stay within the operational engineering side or whether I move directly into the cybersecurity role. Um, I think there's, there's a lot of different options. Well, we wish you ongoing success. We thank you, Chris. We thank you, Ruth, for not only joining us today, but for your ongoing partnership with Belfast Man. Thank, thank you. you very much indeed, and we wish you continued success.